H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Okay. So uh, we will see how we can actually connect to database from from the application. Okay. So uh, let me before that before we get started on how to saving the details, let me open MS Paint and show you how it ha actually happens. So from imagine this is a uh, user. So when the user uh, logs into the uh, or logs into a website or any application, so first request comes to the application server. So request comes to the application server, and from the, from the application server, the the values will be sent. Uh, values will be validated or sent to the database. For example, here I am logging into a Gmail. So whenever I try to log into Gmail or Yahoo Mail or any website. For example, if I enter user ID and password, so the values like user ID and password will not be present in the application server. The values will be present in the database. So, so what happens here is, so from the application server, the values, uh, username and password will be retrieved back. Will will be uh, verified whether the matching user ID and password is present in the table or not. So in the database, we will have a table like this. So, for example, we'll have tables like this. So, first one we have user ID, and first and uh, next one we have we might have password. And if user ID and password both are matching, then we will send the respective mails uh, to the to the UI. If user ID and password is not matching, we'll just tell them like, okay, your user ID and password, either user ID or password are invalid. Okay. So. Now we will try. So from the application server, we have to connect to database server. So this will be a separate system, separate server. Uh, this is called application server. Uh, mm, just a second. Okay. So this will be application server. And from in application server, we will have all our all our files. dot aspx files. dot ascx. dot asmx. All the files will be there in application server. And from the application server, we will connect to uh, database server. So this is this is another server database server. So in my case, uh, uh, if in my case now in my system, I am having both application in my system and database also in my system. So, so both are in my system only. Normally, for small applications where users, number of users connecting to the application are less, uh, we can go for single server, uh, single server both for both application and database. But in case if huge number of, in case if millions of users are accessing, uh, if you, if you have both in the same server, it might uh, performance will be very less. So normally, application server and the database server both will be different. So what we need to tell is in our application ser application we need to tell where what are the details of the server how we can actually connect okay so uh, let me show you some example then you will understand so let me open uh, okay let me open visual studio so whatever you we are discussing now you have to practice uh, today itself otherwise um, so now I'll go to this here and I will be creating, let me close this. Okay, so let's take a uh, US batch and let's see what are the tables we have. And I have a table called employee. So let me see what are the what data we have in that table so select star from employee okay we have some data so what we will be doing is we will try to uh, get the values of uh, employees from the table and we'll display in the grid view okay 
so first so here uh, let me create a new web application file new project and I'm going to create a uh, web application Visual Studio 2012 empty web application and let me create this so our goal for now is I want to display the table values from the database and display it in the web application so till now we are doing a lot of applications but we never written code to interact with database so let's try to do how we can do it okay so I'll add a web, web page here right click on this add new item I'm going to add a web form and give the name as home.aspx okay I added a web form which is um, I named it as home.aspx yeah so now what I'll do I'll go to uh, I will go to this aspx.cs and in the page load in the page load of this uh, let me try to write the logic for uh, connecting to database and then to display the table values okay so uh, in home.aspx page I will be adding a control called grid view if you see here we have uh, standard controls data controls validation controls navigation controls like this we have different types of controls so if I click on data I will have so for displaying data we will have like form view grid view details view data list like this we have different types of uh, uh, classes so we normally will be using grid view to to display uh, values from the table so let me drag this and put it here so we have we have a grid view and uh, let me name this as GV grid view GV indicates the G in grid view GV employee details okay now I will write the code in .cs file to populate this grid view okay so now let's go to aspx.cs file okay first thing uh, here the first thing which you need to tell is you need to tell about your database server so how do you connect to database server so because this file aspx file will be present in, our, in your application server so you have to tell the details of uh, you have to tell the details of database server so so what we need to do we need to do we need to include three namespaces using system dot data using system dot data dot sql using system dot data dot sql client so these are the three namespaces which you need to include so I will tell you how we how we need to connect now so the first thing I need to give the connection so provide I'm, I'm adding comments also provide the details of connection so here I'm writing SQL connection CONN equal to new SQL connection okay so SQL connection is is a class which is present in so you can see here SQL connection is a class which is present in system dot data dot SQL client so that is the reason why I have included this system dot data dot SQL client so SQL connection is primarily used to connect to SQL server so now I I need to write when you put brackets here you can see there are one of two one of two overloads so one of two overloads now when I click on drown arrow you can see that uh, this method first method is not accepting any parameter and the second method is accepting string connection string so when I click on down arrow so you can see here that this method SQL connection is a method present in uh, is accepting SQL connection is ac accepting a string which is connection string so I'll provide here connection string so so let me provide a connection string here connection string will look like this okay so I need to give uh, first I need to provide the details of uh, data source data source is my server name so I need to go here I need to check what is my server so this is our server detail this is my server so my server name is Mignath PC so if you don't know uh, what is your server name all you need to do is you need right here select at the right at the right server name 
so you can write a command like this select at the rate at the rate server name and click on execute you can see the server name here so I copy this server name and go to web.config and here you can write like this data source equal to this after that once you give the data source you need to tell about so in this server uh, normally we have so many databases so many databases so you need to tell about which is your database so our database now here is US batch so you need to tell which database in which database your table is present so I need to tell here initial catalog initial catalog equal to US batch and then I need to provide my username or password so how I actually connected to database or I can give integrated security equal to true for Windows authentication for Windows authentication I can give integrated security equal to true I'll tell you what is this okay so I'm done with I'm done with telling my for the application I'm done with telling like how can you connect to database so data source equal to uh, I gave my server name and initial catalog is in which database you have to fetch the uh, fetch the value and integrated security equal to true and then now I'm done with my connection and then I need to give command I need to tell what command I need to execute so SQL command CMD is equal to new SQL command and here if you see we have we have like overloaded methods so so we have four overloaded methods and the first one is parameterless and the second one is asking for string command text so it is asking for what is your command text and the third one is asking for string command text comma SQL connection so here we will provide our string so what is our command I need to f uh, command text is something like select star from employee so this is my command which I need to execute and then comma what is my connection my SQL connection connection is CONN okay so this is how you normally give a command so so ideally for this command object you have to tell what is the command you want to execute which is select start from employee and what is the details of your connection string so I want to execute this com command in which server so for that you have to provide the details of what you created here so for this command object you have to tell two things one is what is your uh, command to be executed and how you need to connect to the database so so now we gave both the details now what you need to do is we need to write uh, adapter we need to f uh, write adapter SQL data adapter DA is equal to new SQL data adapter I'll tell this what is the use of data adapter now you see here what are the overloads here so we have uh, so like we have four methods here the first one is parameterless and the second one we have uh, SQL command SQL command select command so here I think we can we can provide this command here if we don't want to give command you need to give like this you can give a select string so whatever we gave here and then you can give connection so so now what we need to do so we will take this method the third method select command so I'm giving here CMD that's all so in case if you have not created this totally in case if you have not created this totally this line totally you could have selected the third overload so which is which is like here you can see that we have uh, we have select command text we have a string command text and we have connection so so here here you are giving this directly these two values here for adapter so I will tell you what is the use of adapter so don't worry if you're not getting it now I'll be explaining again so CMD okay so once we got the adapter so now let me go to MS paint so this is database and uh, to store the values so normally if it's a small values like integer float double decimal you can use int float double like data type but to store the values of a table you need a special data type called data set so so data set is the data set 
is a variable uh, is a is is a class of which object you can store the values of a table see uh, from the database if you are getting a table see when you write a command select star from employee when you write a command select star from employee that will return a table so you cannot store this table in normal data types like uh, integer float double decimal these are all this can store only small data types if you want to store uh, a table from the database you have to you have to uh, create a special data type called data set so so what will happen here is you will you will write a data set object and uh, a data set will be filled by data adapter data adapter so this uh, data adapter is like something like uh, a mediator between database and db and data set so data set the value of data set will be filled by data adapter the name itself tells like adapter is something like which acts as a intermediate layer between db and the data set so what we need to do now we need to go back here and then you need to write you need to create a data, data set data set is to hold the values of uh, to hold the values of uh, table so what you need to do data set ds is equal to new data set uh, and then now we have uh, we have data adapter which is uh, which which all the details of with the details of command and connection now we have data set also to hold the value uh, from the table now what we need to do we need to fill data set using data adapter okay so now what I'm going to do now d a dot fill data adapter is filling ds so now now we have uh, this data set filled by data adapter so after this step you will have your table inside this so now what you need to do we have the data set filled now assign the grid view assign the data set values to grid view so what we do here gv dot gv employee details dot data source what is the data source ds and then I will explain again don't worry gv employee details dot data bind once we assign it we need to bind it so these are the steps we have uh, for connecting to database first thing you need to tell what is your connection details how do you connect to database uh, for that you need to tell your server name and database name and what is the command this command will tell you which table you want to get the details so here you are telling server details and database details and here you are telling the command which table you need to execute in this database and uh, data adapter as I said this will be used to connect between uh, this will be used to fill data set so data set is a special variable which will hold uh, which will hold the uh, values like table values and then uh, and then da dot fill data set so this data adapter will fill the values into data set and finally what we are doing we are telling we are giving this value to grid view so let's run this and see how it looks like so let me run this see now we are seeing the values uh, we are seeing the values in the UI so this values we got it from the database so I repeat again so so let me go back to this and let me put a breakpoint here let me put a breakpoint all you need to do is you need to just click here so let me uh, let me stop this and run again and execute this again so I'm executing now So if you see here, uh, first thing we initialize the connection. We told uh, we told that what is our connection string. So if you see here, this is our connection string. Data source is equal to Magnat PC. Initial catalog equal to US batch and integrated security equal to true. So this is our uh, this is our 
connection and then what I'm what we are doing we told what is our command to be executed so the command to be executed is select star from employee select star from employee now after that what we need we need uh, SQL data adapter DA is equal to new so we are initializing the data adapter so remember data adapter is used to fill the data set it acts as a mediator between database and database and the grid view and the uh, database and the data set so if you see here in our uh, diagram so data set is filled by data adapter okay now press F10 now now after this line this data adapter will fill the values into data set see now you can see here so if you want to see the value see this variable you can just see like this but if you want to see the values of data set you need to click on this and you need to select data set visualizer see now this is the values which we are getting from the database I repeat again move, the, move, your, move your mouse to data set and then click on this small arrow and then select data set visualizer you can see the values which are retrieved from the database and then what you are doing here you are assigning the data set to the grid view you are telling that for this grid view the data source is the data source is this data set and then you are binding the values that's all so now we are displaying here okay so how many of you understood this how many of you understood I got one message from Padmini uh, I understand like uh, she has some uh, prayer little prayer knowledge uh, how many else understood this 50%, 60%, 70%—yeah. Okay. So let me sub let me uh, explain again. So first thing, uh, first thing. Imagine if I ask you. Uh, imagine you don't know anything. Y you don't have any SQL Server details, or you don't have any details. I'll come on. I'll come to you and just tell me. Can you can you get can you get the details from the database so if I ask this question can you get the details from the database first thing what will you ask me all of you like uh, I'll come to you and tell like can you get the details from database first thing what you'll ask me what is the server which I need to connect what is the database which I need to look into so you will ask those details to me so first thing I repeat again if I come to you and ask you like can you get some details from database so the values the immediate questions you might ask you is can you tell me uh, while connecting to SQL server what do I need to enter here that will be your first question so when you when you click on this connect you will ask me what what is the server name and what is the database name which I need to uh, look into and then that's what here is our is our connection so first I'm telling to uh, my application what is the server I need to connect and what is the database I need to look into so if I tell you get the values of employee table you will ask me which database you want because you have a lot of databases here so that is the reason first for connection for connection you have to tell what is your server name and what is your database name so that is the first point that is what you are telling to connection and then you will ask me uh, what table you want to get the values so for that we are giving command so from the command we are trying to get the values so those two are definitely useful to narrow it down to exactly what you need okay so that is about connection and command after that as I told you we have to use a data adapter to fill the data set for this data adapter you have to tell see if you you have to tell to the data adapter which database you want to connect so so all these details till now uh, for database de details we have in connection and command in connection we have which server to connect which database to connect and in command we have which table to pick so these two values we are giving to we are giving to adapter so how we are giving to adapter SQL data adapter DA is equal to new data adapter and we in, in brackets we give command so this command is having both a query and as well as connection details so that we told to the adapter and uh, we created a, a variable data set for holding uh, table values after that as I told 